What's going on guys, Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping and I'm going to show you guys how to do a tune up on the Hustler Fast Track SD. Alright guys, so what you're going to need is the Kawasaki uh, tune up kit. Comes with your air filter, oil, the oil filter, the spark plugs, and the fuel filter kit. Uh, this cost me $55.45. For the oil plug, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. Obviously, you're going to need your funnel. You may need some channel locks. Got the oil pan, towel, just in case you need to clean up anything, and a set of rubber gloves. So the first step you're going to do is, is you're going to let the mower run just for a little bit, uh, just to warm up the oil. Just a quick tip, you want to have the mower on just a slight incline. So if you leave the mower on the trailer like I do, just go ahead and lift your jack all the way up. Because that will put on just enough incline to be able to get that oil to get out of the pan. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take the key out of the ignition always. And you're gonna come here. Oh, there's a the phone. You're gonna come here. And let's see. You're gonna take out this spark plug cap here. And you're gonna come to the other side and grab that one right there. Be careful, because that is warm. All right, now you're disconnected from all power, so you're good to go. All right, so next we're gonna locate the drain plug, which, see if I can get it the right angle and so you can see it. It's gonna be that guy right there. Once you get it loose pretty good, you can just use your hand, open it up. Next up, you're going to change your air filter. Clearly needs changed. You're going to unscrew that guy right there. Out with the old, in with the new. sure it's tight all right guys so now that all the oil has drained out of the bottom of the pan we're then going to unscrew the oil filter right here. Now remember guys, the secret to an oil filter is do not make it so tight that you can't pull it off. So you just wanna make it so that way it's hand firm so when, cause it is gonna kinda seize in there when it gets hot. So you wanna make sure that you just put it on tight enough to where it's, it's, it's on there good, but to where you can hand do it, I'm sorry, so that way you can hand loosen it when you go to do your next oil change. And be careful, there is going to be oil come out. First thing is when you pull this off is one, be careful like I said because the oil will be there. You want to make sure right here this o-ring is on. You want to make sure it's on your oil filter because if not that means it's stuck in there. 
it's stuck around your rim here so if it is stuck there and you go to put your new oil filter on it's going to screw in no doubt about it it will screw on but it's not going to be sealed and you're going to kick this bad boy on and you're going to be leaking oil everywhere and you'll be wondering what's going on always make sure this ring is on this oil filter all right so we're getting our kit here get the new oil filter there it is all right all right guys so the oil you're going to be using is 10w40 four cycle engine oil it is made by kawasaki pretty common practice standard practice but you are going to put some oil in this oil filter just pour right on top let it soak in and then you're gonna rub oil around this o-ring you're gonna rub around right there and uh before you put that on so make sure you do that so we got the oil in there now we're just gonna Rub it all around there. Got that lubed up. This engine here, the FS69 1V, calls for 2.2 quarts of oil. All right, guys. So the thing to do is, is just remember, you know, make sure you keep everything organized, and make sure you remember, you know, how you did everything, because what you're going to do is you're going to do that whole process in the reverse order. Okay, and don't start on, you know, say changing the oil change the fuel filter at the same time don't jump around don't go from one thing to another to another to another because then you're going to forget things so just make sure you do one step at a time it's going to take may take a little bit more time but make sure you do everything the right way because you're going to regret it when next thing you know you forgot to check that o-ring and you're spewing oil everywhere and just to show you you can see how much let's see here you can see how much oil has actually absorbed in this filter because you could see it just a little bit ago and now you can't really see any so I'll add a little bit more there we go that should be good that in all right Remember, do not tighten it, tighten it hard. Just put it on there snug. That's all you need. You'll thank me later. Also, a quick tip. Um, when you put your oil filter on, I don't have my silver marker with me. Get a silver Sharpie. Write down the hours on your mower of the time of the oil change. So that way you know it's always on there when you change the oil. So you know when you need to do your next one. That's just a quick little tip. All right, the next thing you know, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put this plug back in. Okay, right there. You may have enough room to get in with the short socket. I prefer the long one. Um, gives you clearance from that oil filter this makes it a little easier it's going to tighten down before that tightens all the way this is actually a drain hose so if you do not want to use this drain hose as um, as your main source of drainage I guess you'd say make sure there's a little nozzle on the top here well not a nozzle kind of like a this little outing i'm not sure what you want to call it but anyways you want to make sure that's sticking straight up when you go to drain the oil out of the pan because if not it'll pour out this and where you took the where you took the plug out at and you'll have a mess on your hands so if we tighten it down that on there again that didn't have to be, you know, don't crank it too much or else 
you're gonna have some issues. All right, guys, next step, it's time to add oil. And what I like to do is take this, wipe it off with your paper towel, your hand towel, whichever. It's where it's cleaned off. Well, before I put the oil filter on and the oil back in, I put the dipstick back in, pull it out, check it, and make sure that as much oil as I can is out. So all the oil is out. So it's time to add. You're going to grab your funnel. Stick her on in there. Again, this calls for 2.2 quarts of oil. So we'll go ahead and dump the whole first one in. Now I know it calls for 2.2 quarts. And you would think, oh, well they gave me two quarts, so if I put both of them in, I'll be perfectly fine. No, because you're not getting 100% all the oil out of the engine when you go to drain it. So what I do is, I will put one in and then I'll go to, there's about eight ounces left in the second one. Just like that. Because what you're going to do now, take this out. You're going to put the dipstick back in. Take it out just to see where you're at at a cold. Right blow full. Good deal. All right, so now that we've done that, put your spark plug covers back on. Spark plugs back on. Good deal. Now we're gonna fire up, let it run for a minute. So one reason for starting your mower is to let all that oil run through there. So that way, once it gets warm, it runs through there enough, you check your level again. If you need to add some more, you add some more. If you're good, you're good. Another reason too is, now you're gonna see if there's anything loose. If you start seeing any drips, any leaks, turn your mower off immediately, see where the drip and leak is coming from, address the issue, fix the issue, start it back up, you get no leaks, you'll be good. All right, so we let it run for a minute or two. All right, so we let it run for a minute or two there. Get our paper towel. As you can see there, we need to add some more. So. Oh. Said we need to add some more, so let's add some more. As you can see, we are right there, right at the full line. So we're good to go. Now guys, the good part about these two is it does have an overflow. That little hose that I said, you know, it can, you know, if you loosen it up, you can get um, your oil to drain out of there. Also what that is, is if you by chance do happen to put a little too much in, it'll just come right out the bottom of here as you're mowing, as it's running, whatever. It'll be just a dismal amount. You know, it's not going to dump out and burn up anything. But um, it will pour out right there, and you'll be fine. All right, guys, next thing we're going to do now that the oil change is done, the air filter has been changed. So the fuel filter to do. But while 
we don't need this oil pan anymore so just get it out of there so you don't forget it's under there um, or you don't step on it dump it everywhere um, what you're gonna do is quick tip old oil funnel your empties refill it back in your empties your local autos auto store you know AutoZone, o'reilly uh napa whichever um they take used oil so uh it's free to give it to them um don't dump it in your yard don't dump it out back do the right thing take your oil to your local auto store and they will dispose of it Also guys, don't forget about your oil filter. Um, our auto store will also take those as well. Um, so make sure you don't forget that. Pull your spark plug cables back off. Be careful, that will be hot. That too. Make sure your key is out. All right, so now that all connection is done. Fuel filter. That guy right there. You're gonna have a hose clamp on the north end and you're gonna have a hose clamp on the south end. Fortunately, with this model mower, I don't know if it's standard with all hustlers or if it's, you know, or what, but this actually has a shutoff valve for the fuel. So if yours does not have this, it just has a straight hose, you're gonna get a you're gonna need a clamp, you're gonna have to clamp off the south end of this because that's where your fuel is drawn from clamp that off so that way you don't have fuel pumping out luckily for this this does have a shutoff valve see there now it's shut off so now what you're going to do is you're going to undo that clamp right there and that one right there so all you have to do is take these bad boys and a pinch off there, pinch off there, pull that off. Now, make sure you remember how this comes off because you're going to want to replace it the exact same way. So make sure you check and see which end is on the black and which one is on the red in this case. Um, but this is pretty simple. Because just remember that this lipped end right here, this lipped end is going to be going into your top hose. So let's take care of this one. Now you may have a little fuel spill out, but that's fine. What I do, a towel there on the bottom, let it rest on the towel. Um, that way any fuel that does come out is stuck in the line will uh, just dribble onto your towel. Next up is this guy. There you go. There is the old. There is the new. Say we're definitely due for a change. All right guys, time to put the new one back on. So again, just go in reverse order. All right, now that's on, make sure it's secure all the way to the bottom of the filter. And this next one, plug in just like so. Take your pliers, get it all the way down. Boom. Fuel on. So now that you got it on, check your clamps, 
They are secure, not going anywhere. Make sure your filter is on the right way. This capped end is going to be on the north side. Make sure you turn your fuel back on, because if not, you're gonna be trying to turn it over and you're not gonna be getting fuel to the motor. So you'll be SOL. So make sure your fuel, fuel is on or you remove your clamp, let the fuel run through. All right, so now that the fuel filter is changed, we will go back, make sure to put these back on. And there we roll. All right, guys, um, when you are done with that, spark plugs are plugged back in while your caps are on. Go ahead, and what I do is I turn it over just a little bit, turn it off. Turn it over just a little bit, turn it off. Just to get some fuel shooting through that line. And then what you'll do is you'll click her on, let her run. And after about 10 seconds or so, your fuel filter will start pumping fuel in it and you'll see fuel sitting in there. Um, wipe your hand around, make sure there are no leaks. No leaks, so we're all good. Guys, as you can see, it also comes with the two spark plugs for each side. Um, I am not at the hours to be needing to change my spark plugs, so I'm probably just going to do that on my spring tune-up next year. Um, so I will save these guys, so all I have to do, I'll probably actually just rebuy the kit itself, um, just because it had everything with it and I don't see why not um, that way you at least get spare spark plugs and everything too but um if you do change your spark plugs they're right there on each side you will need to get the socket fitting they actually have specific sockets for taking out spark plugs and you want to make sure you get one that's deep enough um, to be able to go all the way down to this pattern so you can take this to Home Depot, Lowe's, your auto store, get the socket to change out the spark plugs. Um, the reason why you want to take this in is that way you get one that's long enough in length. I have one in there that is not long enough in length and it comes up just shy of fitting around that bolt or that pattern. When you take these out, be very careful. Do not break them off or you will have your hands full. So when you put them on, like I said, just make them snug. Don't over crank them. Don't break them off when you tighten them on. Don't break them off taking them off. Just put them on there nice and snug and you will be perfectly fine. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, just did a quick little tune up on the mower. Um, again, this is the Hustler Fast Track SD 54 inch cut. Got the Kawasaki FS691V. Um, anything that I used, I will be sure to put it in the description below. Um, guys, simple maintenance. It's not hard to do. Just takes just a little bit of time. But I'm telling you right now, oh, it just takes a little bit of time. But uh, this is, you know, this is your money maker. This is what's your. This is what you're using every single day. Uh, so make sure you take care of it, so that way it can take care of you. Um, like I said, this kit was fifty-five dollars. Um, this whole process from start to finish may have took 30 minutes you know so what's 30 minutes is nothing you know what i mean so like i said guys this is just a quick tune up so with how many yards i'm mowing right now usually each turn of the season i'll change the oil um so it's like i do my initial one very beginning of season put all new fluids in new air filter everything like that do all that at the end of spring then I'll change my air, or then I'll do the whole thing over again in the spring. Midway, halfway, midway through summer, getting towards the end of summer, usually around the beginning of August, like this time, I'll go ahead and do it again because the motor's been running hot. You're going to be burning more oil. The air filter, blah, the air filter, it's going to be dustier because everything is drying out. There's my wife. So. So anyways guys, there you have it.